In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase flat as a pancake. Do you know what a pancake is? A pancake is something that we fry in a frying pan. It's made out of flour and water and butter and I'm sure there's sugar in it too. And it's very, very flat. In North America, we eat them with uh, butter and uh, syrup on top. They're really, really yummy. But because a pancake is flat, we also have this phrase, flat as a pancake. If you look behind me, there is a soccer field. And the soccer field is flat as a pancake. We like to have our soccer fields really, really flat. The other day I drove over a pop can in my driveway, a soda can, and I crushed it. And after I drove over it, it was flat as a pancake. It no longer looked like a can. It was flat. It looked a lot more like a pancake. Uh, of course, there's no way I, I would mistake it for a pancake, but it certainly was flat as a pancake. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase flat broke. This is actually a repeat phrase, but you know how I like to match the phrases, right? When you are flat broke, it means you have no money in your wallet. You have no money in the bank. You do not have any money at all. Sometimes when people get paid on Fridays, by Thursday, they are flat broke. On Thursday, they've spent all their money and they have nothing left and they are flat broke. That's probably not a very nice feeling. I do remember when I was younger, at one time I was flat broke and I remember putting $5 into the bank machine. Uh, no, I put $2 into the bank machine so I could take out $5 because I had a little over $3 in the bank and I thought that would be a good way to have a little bit of money for the evening. Anyways, to review, when you say something is flat as a pancake, it means that it is really flat, okay? Um, and when you are flat broke, it means that you have no money in your wallet, you have no money in the bank. You have no money at all. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Alexi. It would be more acceptable to lose an hour in the spring if time change happened at like 4 p.m. on Friday. And my response was, that is the best idea I've ever heard. So Alexi is referring uh, to time change from the previous lesson. The idea that in the fall we put the clocks back an hour in the spring we put them ahead and I would 100% agree Alexi if we could uh, in the spring move the clock ahead uh, while we're all still at work uh, we would all get to go home an hour early could you imagine if in the spring I have to watch it here it's a little wet if in the spring your boss came in at four o'clock and you normally work till five uh, and your boss said hey um, we are going to move the clocks ahead. It's now five o'clock. You can all go home. That would be very, very, very cool. Sorry, there's kind of a weird light on. I'm not sure what this means. Oh, I know what that means. It means my SD card is almost full. Hopefully I get this whole video done before it is full. I wanted to show you this soccer field is beautifully mowed and ready to use. But if you look over here, you'll see they put up concrete barriers. They put up concrete barriers over here because it was so wet. They didn't want people coming to this park and using it. So you can see here, there's a concrete barrier. There's a couple more over there. They thought to themselves, you know what? There is, There has been too much rain. We need to discourage people from using the park for a little bit. Uh, so what they did is they put up the concrete barrier. So now this beautiful park, which by the way, the whole park is kind of flat, of a, flat as a pancake, isn't it? Um, is not actually open. I don't know if it will open again this year because winter is coming. There's a, a strong likelihood that it will be closed anyways, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Thanks for watching this little lesson. I hope my SD card doesn't fill up. I'll see you in a couple days with another one. Bye.